Sri Lanka passes an online safety bill. MintPay, among Accelerating Asia's eight new graduate startups, welcome to this week's Roundup, where we share business, economics and geopolitics that's shaping Sri Lanka's landscape. In a controversial move, Sri Lanka passes an online safety bill in order to regulate internet use. The bill will also create an online safety commission appointed by the President. A five-member committee appointed by the President to issue directives to persons who communicate prohibited statements under this Act to stop the communication of any such statements. Sri Lanka's government says that the bill will provide protection against online abuse. But the rights groups have criticised its position. The United Nations Human Rights Office also criticised the bill's broad definition of terrorism and wide police and military powers. Critics argue that the government is using repressive laws to silence dissent amid economic and political crisis. MintPay, a Sri Lankan startup, pitching their startup to many global investors, including angel investors and venture capital firms. Accelerating Asia Ventures is a program for early startup stages and investors. MintPay, a Sri Lankan startup that offers a shopping aggregator, simplifying shopping decisions and offering flexible payment options, will pitch their startup. Accelerating Asia Ventures is a VC that invests into an in house flagship accelerator program for early stage startup and investors. Licensed by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, Accelerating Asia's early stage VC fund focuses on post revenue startups with untapped potential that are 6 to 18 months away from institutional funding. Accelerating Asia Ventures invests up to $250,000 in pre series startups and the current portfolio covers over 10 countries in Southeast and South Asia. MintPay is among Accelerating Asia's eight new graduate startups to pitch to global investors. Sri Lanka welcomes over 142,000 visitors during the first three weeks of 2024. India leads the arrivals with over 22,000 visitors followed by UK and Russia. India leads the arrival during the first three weeks of January with 22,000 visitors, followed by Russia with 21,000 and the UK contributing 11,000 arrivals. The diverse range of visitors also include tourists from Germany, China, France, Poland, Australia, the US and Netherlands. With 99,000 or 41% more tourists expected within the next 10 days, the country aims to achieve the ambitious monthly target further solidifying its position as an attractive and resilient travel destination in the post-pandemic era. The surge in tourism not only contributes to the economic revival of Sri Lanka, but also showcases global confidence in the country's safety measures and the appeal of its diverse attractions. For 2024, Sri Lanka tourism has set an ambitious target to welcome 2.3 million tourists and earn over $4.5 billion. Microsoft lays over 1,900 employees in its gaming unit. Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer said that the layoffs are part of a bigger execution plan that would reduce areas of overlap. A little more than three months after Microsoft closed on its acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard is a publisher and developer of several massive gaming franchises, including Call of Duty and Diablo. Its mobile gaming subsidiary, King, is the developer behind Candy Crush Saga. Tech companies have made deep cuts just weeks into 2024, most of which were unrelated to mergers and acquisitions. Tech investors have come to expect higher efficiency and a clearer road to growth or profitability as economic pressures mount. And there you have it, a snapshot of what's happening in Sri Lanka and globally. Thank you for joining.